Construction technology, by its very nature, continuously evolves with the development of high-rise buildings around the world. In many places, buildings are constructed with unique and unconventional concepts that might be one-of-a-kind globally. I'll take you on a tour of some of the world's unique construction marvels. In Norway, the E39 highway is one of the most beautiful travel routes in the world, stretching about 683 miles. Though considered the world's most beautiful, it's not the same for Norwegians. For them, this road is more of an obstacle. Along it, there are seven fjords, or glacial melts forming bays. At each fjord, drivers must ferry their vehicles across. Therefore, it takes 21 hours to travel from Kristiansand to Trondheim. To address this issue, the Norwegian government is constructing bridges and tunnels to cross these fjords. This project is expected to cut the travel time from 21 hours to half. What's unique? Its underwater tunnel will set a world record as the longest and deepest tunnel bored under the seabed of a fjord. This tunnel will be 16.8 miles long with a depth of 1,047 feet below the water's surface. Norway even plans to create a visually appealing tunnel with lighting in each segment. One of the tunnels, unable to be placed under the seabed, will be constructed to float under the water's surface, supported by floats spaced 817 feet apart, allowing ships to pass over it. This is a first-of-its-kind construction technique. About 50 experts have conducted detailed simulations regarding wind speed, currents, underwater landslides, and have ensured its safety. By 2025, the project is expected to be 33% complete, with completion anticipated in 2050. The cost is staggering, around 539 billion USD. The Beipanjiang Bridge holds the title of the world's highest bridge. It stands at a height of 1,854 feet above the water surface and stretches about 0.8 miles in length, nearly equivalent to the height of a 200-story building. So high is this bridge that when crossing it during foggy conditions, it appears as if it's floating. This bridge connects the Yunnan and Guizhou provinces in China. What might be hard to believe is that the Beipanjiang Bridge was constructed over a steep valley with complex natural terrain. The gorge beneath it is so deep that the bridge had to be designed to withstand strong winds. To achieve this, the bridge is supported by steel cables with a maximum span of 2,362 feet. These steel cables, along with two large and sturdy main pillars, prevent the concrete structure from swaying. Remarkably, the construction process was relatively quick, taking only three years from 2013 to its operation in 2016 at a construction cost of 138 million USD. Moreover, the Beipanjiang Bridge significantly reduced travel time from about five hours to just two hours. Due to its compliance with the standards set by the Chinese Ministry of Transportation, the bridge developers have received numerous awards, including what's known as the Nobel Prize of Bridges. However, there's a bridge that I find even more astonishing in the world, named Port Canal du Sart, located in Belgium. What makes it amazing is that this bridge contains water and is built over a highway and city park. The water bridge is 1,640 feet long, 151 feet wide, 23 feet deep, and can hold up to 80,000 tons of water. This weight is approximately eight times heavier than a typical bridge, making it the world's heaviest bridge serving as a shipping canal. So how was this 80 ton bridge constructed? The method used is the incremental launching method, commonly employed for bridge projects over deep waters or busy roadways. The bridge is fortified by 13 bulwarks on each side. Each column is also supported by nine piles, each five feet in diameter. These piles are designed to bear loads of up to 6,000 tons. The bridge walls are extremely thick and waterproof, so each column uses reinforced concrete. It's no surprise that the construction cost of this bridge was nearly 280 million USD. We must also include the Burj Khalifa in the list of the world's most unique constructions. 
It's the tallest building in the world, standing on sandy soil and braving the powerful Arabian winds. The secret to its stability? A hexagonal core located precisely in the center of the building. The foundation of the Burj Khalifa is made from 12,500 high-quality concrete, supported by 192 piles, each 5 feet in diameter, and constructed to a depth of more than 164 feet. The building's base floor is designed to anchor it to the ground. Despite the exterior walls being made of glass, aluminum, and steel, these materials don't compromise the building's integrity. The Burj Khalifa is also earthquake-resistant up to 6 on the Richter scale, equipped with dampers on every floor. These dampers allow the building to sway during earthquakes without sustaining damage. The construction cost was also significant, amounting to 1.5 billion USD. In Turkey, there's an airport with unique and modern construction techniques called Istanbul New Airport. It's the world's largest airport in terms of passenger traffic. What's particularly interesting is its air traffic control tower designed in the shape of a tulip. The tower stands at a height of 295 feet and covers an area of 64,583 square feet, making it the largest in the world. This tower even won the International Architecture Award in 2016 as a future infrastructure project. The total cost of this project is 13 billion USD and is targeted for completion by 2025. Another unique construction is Stadium 974, built by Qatar for the World Cup. It's the first stadium that can be dismantled and reassembled, with a construction cost of 756 million USD. Intriguingly, Stadium 974 was constructed using 974 shipping containers. The concept of a modular stadium was developed in response to the issue of World Cup stadiums often being left abandoned due to high maintenance costs. Hence, this is a long-term stadium that can be reassembled elsewhere. Another interesting feature is the stadium's bowl seating area, which is designed for natural ventilation, eliminating the need for air conditioning. Because of its modular design, the stadium was dismantled just hours after the Brazil versus South Korea match. There are plans for the United States to rebuild this stadium for an upcoming World Cup.